Hello fellow electricians, particularly this one for trainees and apprentices. So yesterday I saw this post shared on Instagram. Now I know a lot of electricians are dyslexic. It's just one of them things, yeah? And we all like to learn from pictures and videos. That's why electrical social media is so popular. Because if you demonstrate something to someone and they can visually see it, in my opinion, that's the best way to show it. Now, this post was shared by Isolate for Life Andy, who I've got no problems with, and I think his art's in the right place. I don't think he's done anything wrong. And it was put out by QTech. Again, I'm a big fan of QTech. I don't have any problems with them. But I do have a problem with the pictures in this article, and I've put on the post he shared there, yeah? It, it diverts you to a website, which I'll now delete this picture, and it's a behind. It takes to this website, yeah? And it's called... A safe isolation procedure, a thorough step-by-step -step guide. Great, no problem with that. And I've read this, I'm not going to say yay or nay because I don't think it's hard and fast, but it seems to be a reasonably good article. The bit I dislike and I hate, and which is why I'm doing this video is, yeah, that picture, that picture in an enclosure, in this case a fuse board, he's proving for dead there, I would say, on those terminals, with a, with a GS38 tester made by QTEC, which is fine. And because a lot of people will jump on QTEC if they don't show the locking off process, yeah? They've put the lock there. That is the worst place you could put a lock. Because the regulations say you shouldn't be in an enclosure, really, that's live, if you can avoid it. So now we're in the situation where someone's on the final stage of their safe isolation checking these terminals, but we all know, really that below this, the terminals are live, and they're exposed. They might be IP4X, whatever it is, but they're exposed also. In this massive hole here, what horrors lie beneath? Yeah, are there open buzz bars? Are there um, lugs coming out? Uh, t tails for lugs, metal bits, unisolated things. Someone could isolate there with that lock off. Yeah, that's great, well done, you've done all your um, social media stuff. Do your testing there, and happily work in the board above this level. But if a bit of cable swings into that hole, it's happened to me, yeah, or you drop a spanner or a screwdriver or some metallic object through this hole, who knows what will happen. In my opinion, this board in the UK will be fed as a radio, which means somewhere this isolator as a protective device on the other end of this cable. If you want to work safely in this enclosure, including this bottom bit because there's a hole there, you need to go what I call one back. You to go wherever this cable comes from and isolate it so the entire enclosure is isolated. This is bad form for me. And like I say, I'm a QTech fan. I like isolate for last post, but for me, this is bad form. This is saying it's okay to isolate here. And really, it's not. If you knew, yeah, you want to be one back. Now, some people go, oh, maybe it's not live. Maybe they've locked up at both. If I scroll further down this page, they clearly state here. Proving the voltage tester is functional on the incoming side of the isolated supply. Well, you're telling me there for a fact that that board, that enclosure, the part you've got open, yeah, is not isolated. I hate this. I get people send me isolations like this MVQs, and I just send them back and go, that enclosure is not isolated. I don't want to ramble on, but what I want to say is QTEC, I'm going to send this to you because you're giving a visual representation of doing it wrong. I'm not saying people are going to start dropping dead. I'm not saying people are going to get killed, but... You're giving a visual representation on your website for everyone to see of this being done incorrectly. When you're in that board, you want to be able to just know that all the board's dead. That you can doddle along doing your job without any risk. Also, you can't leave that board. If you leave that board now, you're leaving live, exposed, conducted parts to anyone that wants to come along. I'm not saying people are going to stick their finger in there. I know it has to be an extreme, but it's just a bad show. Please, can people stop showing locking off like this? Everyone's obsessed with showing that lock because they're scared to get torn apart on social media because the twats will come out and start saying, oh, you've not got it locked off. Can't you afford a locking off kit? Most of the time when you're working on your board, your safe isolation is not visible at that board. It's somewhere else. So get fucking used to it. Please stop putting out propaganda like this that's showing this because I get NVQs all the time showing it like this and it's wrong. I'm not here to tell you how to do it right. I'm not here to preach about how to do it right. But... I hate to see visual representations that people will copy of it being done wrong like this. Please don't do it. QTech, please change these pictures. A picture paints a thousand words and you're painting the picture wrong. And we all know when it comes to PR like this, 
and output from your department using your tester. These are staged photos. There's only one good photo and it's staged photos. You've staged these photos. As someone pointed out when I put his poster on Twitter, no PP on. Yeah, right, you're not that close. But flash over, arc flash is a killer. And also, you could have staged these photos loads easier by showing where you locked it off at the other end and doing the test on one of your own proving units, not on a known life supply that's in the same enclosure you're going to work in. That's it. I don't want to get on my eye horse about it, but it pisses me off. It gets on my tits because people will see it and people will copy it. The amount of people that will see these pictures and copy them is thousands percent more than the people that will read this document and do it properly and even then they'll get thrown up by these gash pictures please can the industry stop doing this as a whole it drives me fucking mad thank you very much